The quickest way to get more referrals in your business is to understand the following. Your clients are not salespeople. It is not their job to sell your service on your behalf. What you need to do is create a little mindset shift when it comes to referrals and understand that it's not the job of your client to send you more clients, but what you can encourage your clients to do is send you introductions. They can be that in between that third party that introduces you to other people like them. And if you can make that little mindset shift, you can start to come up with a number of different ways in which you can make it easier for your clients to introduce you to their friends and family who might be interested in your service. And then you as the business owner and the salesperson within your business can take control of that and you can be responsible for turning that introduction into a referral. This is a very different way of thinking about referrals in your business, and it should hopefully open your mind to making this process much easier for your clients. Too many service-based businesses out there are expecting to ask their client for a referral and then leave it to the client to do the heavy lifting and do all of the hard work. And in my opinion, that's the wrong way to go about it. We should be encouraging our clients to send referrals our way and make introductions, but we as the business owner should be the one doing the heavy lifting. We should be the one that makes it easy for them to bring people to us or get us in front of people so that then we can take control of that situation and start our sales process, show these people how we helped their friend or family member get to where they've got to. So in terms of doing that, in terms of having ways and means of doing that, there are a few different things that you can do. You can do some of these things. You can do all of these things if you want to. They are all worth giving a try at some point and making sure that you use them on a repeated basis. The first thing I would recommend is when you initially get a lead. When you get a lead coming into your business and you're potentially going to do a front end offer with them or sit down with them for a consultation, I would ask them, is there anyone else that you know that would like to start this journey with you at the same time? You can then potentially turn that one lead into two. Similarly, when you've gone through your sales process with a person, if they've decided to sign up, that's a great opportunity whilst the person is excited about getting started to say to them, my business relies on people like you referring other people to me that are similar to yourself, who want similar goals, and have got that same mindset around investing in their health and fitness. Do you know of anyone who might be open to the idea of exploring this service as something that can help them? And again, as part of your sales process, you can now turn that one sale into another lead and another potential sale. So before you've even started working with your client, you can start to generate referrals and leads using the person that sat in front of you. The second time it makes sense to ask for referrals and get into the habit of making referrals something you're speaking about with your clients is during any sort of review sessions. So if you're going to review your clients maybe every six to eight weeks or something like that, and they're getting great results, this is a great opportunity to say to the person, you've done really well so far. Look at these amazing results you've achieved. I would love to help more people like you. Is there anyone that you know that could benefit from the help and the support that you've received in reaching your health and fitness goals? That person can then provide you with the information of someone that you can then get in contact with, or they can maybe add you to a group chat with that person that's got the three of you in it so that they can make that introduction and you can take it from there. Now, if the person says, no, they've not got anyone in mind at that point, don't worry about that because you're going to review this person again in another six to eight weeks. And again, you should ask on a repeated basis so that it becomes something they get used to being asked and then they're, they're more open to the idea of thinking about people who might want your help and may, might want your support as well. The third thing we can do, and this can be done in any number of ways, is to look for opportunities to get your clients bringing friends and family to the gym or to try your service 
or to some sort of event you're hosting and just generally get them in and around you as a person, as a coach, as a business owner. So this can be as simple as doing like a, a bring a friend session with your client. So maybe once a quarter emailing everyone and saying, right, next week, you've got the opportunity to bring a friend along, bring someone with you, get them involved, and we'll see if we can help them out and get them started. So that's something you can do. If you're running any events in the local area, like in the past, we've run things like sports days, social events. We've been and done 5K runs, park runs, things like that. You can get them to bring friends and family along to those occasions. That always helps. You can also do things like run competitions. You can run referral competitions and things like that. So that third option is just any way that you can think of to help your clients introduce you to their friends and family and get in front of them. So to tie this all together, although this is a very short insight into the world of referrals, please don't underestimate the power of this. That mindset shift from thinking of it in terms of your clients bringing you more clients and instead thinking of it in terms of your clients making introductions should be a big shift in how you think about this and then how much easier you can make it on the behalf of your clients to refer business your way. You're not expecting them to send you ready-made clients, but what you are doing is giving them opportunities to introduce you to people like them who might need services like yours. That's the biggest shift in focus here. And I want you to have your eyes open at the opportunities you've got to create those situations for your client. You then take control of the sales process and help turn that introduction into a referral and into a client. That's your job, not the job of your client.